Hello Church and greetings from First Presbyterian Church in the city of New York. I hope that you are having a blessed Friday. My name is Greg Stovell. I'm one of the pastors and want to say hello and share with you some very special notes today. Uh, you are hopefully receiving this issue of First Matters and watching this via that issue. If for some reason you are not and you're just watching it on Facebook or YouTube, um, contact the church office or go to our webpage and subscribe to First Matters so that you can know a lot of information of things going on here through the ministry of the church. Today I want to do something a little different. As you know, we are streaming live our services from the sanctuary on YouTube, Facebook, and Boxcast. And I want to walk you briefly as to how to access those services and how to interact with us as you are doing so. So let's dive right in. Let's go first to our website. So here we are on our church's page. If you want to join us for worship on Sunday mornings, there's a couple of different ways to do it. Here in the top navigation, all you have to do is click on the YouTube button here, which is what you normally do to join us, takes you to our channel, or Facebook to watch it Facebook Live, or down here in Boxcast, which is our uh, separate new platform that we're using. Here you'll be able to see the services, but it doesn't have the interaction, the chat um, a function. Alternatively, you can go to the bottom of this section of the first page and find the exact same buttons. They take you to the same place, whether it's our YouTube channel, our Facebook Live page, or Boxcast. Here to the left of this, you will notice there's an option to click here for the worship bulletin. If you click here, it'll take you to this document. I already have it open on a separate page. Let me show you. It is the worship bulletin that you're very familiar with. It has all of the information for you to follow along and participate in worship. It has all the responses that appear on the screen. It has uh, the hymns. It also has toward the bottom worship notes and music notes that Michael submits every week along with your staff contacts where you can contact us. Let's go back to the main page. And let me show you the actual controls. Some of you have been having a couple of issues with sound or the image itself on YouTube. If you were to click down here on YouTube, our YouTube channel looks like this. Here you will find all of the videos that we've been sharing lately. The live one or the latest one should be here on the left when you land on this page. Let's say that we click on one of them. Let me take you to the one for this past Sunday. The service for this past Sunday, you will find it here. And the controls at the bottom are pretty straightforward. You have your play button here. You have your volume control. I tend to leave this all the way to the top and then play with the actual volume on my computer. It'll be different on all computer and devices, but this one, I generally try to keep it all the way to the top. Alternatively, I wanted to let you know that, yes, some of you have been having a few issues with sound. Uh, we are trying our best to balance the microphones so that the organ and the voices are all heard. Uh, sometimes the organ is way too loud and it overpowers all the voices and um, uh, distorts the sound. And so that is a work in progress for us. But for you to get the best possible experience right now, uh, please crank this all the way to the top and move the volume control on your TV or device or a computer. And uh, this will be a work in progress for us over the next month or so. Another very, very important button I want to show you is this setting right here. This is for the image quality. Where it says quality, you want to have it at 1080 all the time if your internet speed will um, handle it. Many YouTube settings generally default to 720 or 480, which is not bad quality, but I like to have the best image possible as crisp as possible. So we're transmitting in 1080, and that is pretty good for most TVs and computers. So I commend that one um, every time that you log in. And here to the right, lastly, is where we have our chat. I encourage you to interact with your fellow church members and fellow worshipers. We have the usher for the day that will be here, ready to help you out if you have any issues. Alternatively, if YouTube doesn't work very well for you, we have simultaneous webcast on both Boxcast and on Facebook Live. If you click on Facebook, 
it'll look like this. This is a, our 9-11 worship service, but it'll be live for you. And you have the same controls at the bottom. You have the play button right here. You have your quality control right here. And unfortunately, Facebook caps it at 720. As you can tell, it still looks pretty crisp and good definition, but this is where you control it. At least 720 uh, should be what we have it here. And again, your volume control, I recommend that everybody keeps it all the way up and move your actual computer volume. Lastly, here is our um, chat room that we have on Facebook. Same thing, interact with your fellow church members and very, very important. If you are able on Sunday mornings, both like the, our page and comment that way, but also share it. To share it, you just click on share and go straight into more options and click on share to your page. As you share to your page, your social network will be able to see that you are uh, watching and worshiping with us. And it's the best way to spread the word around. Lastly, a couple of you might have had some problems with giving online. Just want to go over this very briefly. There are many different ways to give. The easiest possible way that I've found is to click on Donate Now. And if you do so, it'll take you to this page. This page is a secure portal for you to be able to give either via bank account or credit card. Here I have filled in some of the fields. Um, here is where you put the amount. To the right is where you choose where it should go to, whether it's your regular pledge or non-pledge gift, the building fund or other. Right here, I'm selecting other for now. Recurring giving, if you want to set this up already for it to be a, re a regular gift every week or every month. Here I put my information, name, email address, very, very important so we can get back in touch with you. And here you can select either via credit card or bank account number. Your credit card is filled right here along with expiration date and your code. And here is if you want to cover the credit card fees. They're generally not high, but they do add up with many different donors in our church. So if you want to be able to cover those extra fees, please click here. And this has an explanation as to what this is. And you'll immediately see the difference. At the bottom arrow is where you find um, the memo area where you want the gift to go. And I put here to the general fund of the church a one-time gift. And this just makes it a lot easier for you to uh, access this next time with all the information. Once it is all properly filled out, this button will be clickable. Go ahead and click it and you'll get a confirmation for your gift. If not, um, if in doubt, call the church office. So that's a quick tour of our church website and how to access these services. If for some reason you have any problems, please contact me directly and I'll be happy to walk you through it. Uh, we are glad that you're able to join us for worship while we're apart one from the other. I pray that this was helpful to you. And as always, I pray that God blesses you, that you're aware of God's blessings in your life. And I'll see you in church.